Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a Fallout 4 flag. I've been requested by a person on the private messages to make a tutorial to explain how I do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've been doing this for a while. I have a pack and a few other flags which people have unloaded, have endorsed and they seem to be enjoying them. So uh, I think it's time to show people a good and simple tutorial. Because there's two of a communist doing a Hezbollah flag. He explains like shit, even though his English is fluent because he's American. And there's also a old man that also explains it, but he does a complex version, which is kind of necessary if you just want to make retextures. So basically, what you're going to need is GIMP or any other Photoshop type program. For example, Photoshop or I don't even know if there's any other good program. Basically, GIMP or Photoshop. Also, Paint.net is a good one, but it has fewer functions. For example, it doesn't have a line text, a line stuff. I didn't see it but it has a better DDS program. For GIMP, you're gonna need a DDS plugin, which is free, you can get it on the internet. I guess I'm gonna show you a link in the description. You will see it and you will get in and download it. So, the first thing you need to do is have a design, right? So I'm gonna use this image and it's gonna be a basic one. So when you open GIMP, you go to File, New, and you need the image size. Now, all flags are 1024 by 512, all of them. Like if you get higher, uh, it might be a problem. Okay, so now you say you click on OK, and you start doing your thing. Now, I'm just gonna show you, basically we transform this. I'm just gonna put it in the center. There we go. Fuck, there we go. And I'm gonna, I don't know, add a line or something like that. Okay, now once you're done making your masterpiece, you're gonna make sure everything is flattened so we don't have any problems in the future with the DDS format. You click on flatten like this and you save it as a PNG because we're gonna use it later. Uh, give it a name that you will actually recognize and that will be easy to find. Example, I'm gonna click on, I don't know, desktop, and I'm gonna name it pay up flag, I guess. Click on export. Now, interlacing on and compression level zero for best quality of image. After that, we're gonna go and hide this. Don't close it because you're gonna need GIMP again. For later. Also, a I think a necessary thing for your flag is gonna be a fabric. For example, I use this one, which is in my opinion the best one. It's from a website that I will leave in the description. They have a 2K resolution, 4K, and even 8K, if I'm not mistaken. So you can get it in higher resolutions. I use 1K because there's no need for me to use more. So I'm gonna use this one. Uh, we open paint.net, we close this layer and open a new one. Uh, we use 1024 again by 512. Don't touch resolution because sometimes it can actually change the image, image size and it can be a very bad thing for you because you might not understand what's happening and you might feel bad. So basically, be careful with it. Now, 
you have the background, you need another layer. The background is going to be your fabric. Basically, to get it inside, click on Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And after that, keep canvas size so it fits the canvas 1024 by 512. On the layer 2 is going to be your flag. You do the same thing, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and that's it. Don't drag it inside, just copy it and paste it. Now, uh, to make the texture visible, you click on the range, which is properties, and then you go on blend mode, multiply. I think it's the best one. There's actually a few more, and they fucking suck. Overly sometimes is good, but as you can see here, it's not good at all. There's difference, which is kind of goofy, but we're not gonna use it. There's no need to. Darken actually looks nice, but check this yellow and then check this yellow. This one feels more natural. Now, you go and save it. But basically, oh fuck, my bad. Basically, you can play with it as much as you want. Opacity and all the stuff. If you, for example, set it less, you can also duplicate it as much as you need to get the exact color or exact texture that you want. I'm just gonna get set it on 255. Okay, Control D to select known, and we're gonna save it. Uh, we're saving it as a PNG again. You can replace it. I usually do it. Okay, uh, I think we won't be needing this anymore. <coughs> oh shit, my bad. Yeah, or maybe we will. I'll see. So basically, this is the flag. This is how it's gonna be on the game, basically. So now, what you're gonna do is create the texture. To do that, you go into GIMP again, you close this one, you, will need, you won't need it, and now you need to make a 1024 by 1024. You will ask why. Easy, because you will need a front and a back side. Usually I don't do back sides because there's no need for a flag. So you just drag your flag and insert it inside. You use alignment to get it on top and then you drag it again once more and do the same thing, align to, to the back. So basically it has both sides and on both sides it's gonna be looking like this. Now you go to image, you go and flatten it so it all fits inside one image and there's no unnecessary layers. Now it's the time when you can actually export it as a DDS. For that you're just gonna go to export as uh, desktop and then pay up ultimate for example, I don't know. You can name it whatever you want. Click on export. Uh, oh shit. I forgot to say, you need to export it in DDS, not PNG. Compression BC3, DXT5. Don't use the BC4 and BC5 because it might alter the file and it might not work. This is the safest one. Generate MIP maps. And that's it, don't touch anything else. You export it. All right. So basically you have the texture ready. You can also, yeah, I'm gonna show you a second variant. The second variant will be exporting it as a PNG file. And then that PNG file which is which is this one you would get inside paint.net 
and you would save it as a DDS direct draw surface and then you would replace it I'm gonna call it 2 and hit on PC7 linear like this is a better one because it saves more quality this is the thing that Kim doesn't have save it I even think it's a bit better if I'm not mistaken wait 133 other I think they're the same so basically I just showed you two ways of doing it now uh, I'm gonna use this one from GIMP so these two things you can either just delete them or keep them in a folder just if you want doesn't matter now to save your time I'm gonna use the template which you will have at your disposition after it's ready to be downloaded you copy it and you paste it you get a copy and then you call it whatever you want uh, tutorial mod no or tutorial flag now inside you will have the materials textures materials and textures and then you will have the file ESM ESP or whatever it's called I forgot so now you go to materials and you rename this this folder to tutorial wait to, to tutorial flag let's do this all right now materials okay uh, you go to textures and you drag your flag together with this too, which is a normal one and the specular one, which makes sure your flag looks like a flag and not a plastic toy that is shiny. Uh, now, the next thing you will need is going to be a material editor, which is a application which is used to get your custom textures inside a material of a thing that you're doing so okay let's do it this way once you have your folder ready just go to data this is the scanning one then I'm gonna click the fallout one now this flag right here you open it and simply drag it inside your data folder in fallout 4 but don't drag it just copy it copy and paste that's it now uh, you will have it in textures which is the, 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 the tutorial flag right here and the same thing for materials the, 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 tutorial flag okay so we're gonna play with this thing right here to do this we're gonna go to material editor which you can download from the Nexus website I'll have a link for this you open it and now you select Fallout 4 you click on open you go to data this is the Fallout 4 one you go to materials find mm, tutorial flag your folder which where you have the custom your custom texture and materials and now you open it and this one is important the diffuse one uh, it's the texture which you made in GIMP so basically this one the main thing that you will see in the game the normal one is this one and the specular is this one now once you're done with this things you click on save and that's it now the next step would be going to fallout 4 creation kit I'm gonna load it and then we'll continue there is a Tetsuhunyu okay so few seconds have passed and now we're here everything is loaded so 
once you're done with the other steps, you're just gonna go to filters first and type on flag. And then you hit all. You wait a bit and we're ready to work with the real thing. All right. I suppose I'll show you how to make all the flags. So uh, the first flag you're gonna need is the wall, which is this one. Uh, first of all, you change the ID zero zero so it stays on top. Uh, pay up. You call it whatever you want. Pay up flag. And then you go to models and click on edit. Now you need to choose custom material swap and after you're done with the custom material swap you click on this which is flag management 01 BGSM cloth flag and blah 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 blah. Fuck it. Now you look for your folder which should be in the materials. The thing we changed with the material editor. Uh, you go to tutorial flag and there you go. First step done. Click on OK. Click on OK and you just created the first flag. Good for you. Now it stays on here on top. The second thing is uh, this flagpole. Now do the same thing. You add zero zero, so it stays on top. Uh, instead of B O S A, pay up the leg. And for example, if you want to call it um one, you call it one or two or three or four or five. If you like numbers, add numbers. If you like insults, add insults. Whatever you want. The same thing. You click on edit flag material and there we go uh, second flagpole zero zero so it stays on top B O S we erase and add pay pay up flag glag I'm gonna call it glag pay up glag um, same thing, you change flag minute in this one. Uh, don't touch power switch box because this, this is the flagpole, uh, the stick. If you change it, it might get fucked and you will cry. Same thing. And now, the best one, the waving flags. So there's two types of waving flags, this one this one now i only recommend changing this one because this one has no models and so when you add it in the workshop you won't be able to erase it without using the command prompt basically let me show you zero zero is test on top uh pay up Hey, fuck up. Uh, same thing here too. And now this zero zero. Pay up. Um, please pay. Same stuff like this okay make sure you save uh, call it 31 tutorial uh, also make sure you save several times three of the process because the thing can crash whenever it feels like crashing so I don't think it like that because I wouldn't I'd be crying so now you have the models done 
but you're not done yet by the way because these were just your textures now what you need to add is the actual workshop item so it shows up in the workshop to do this you scroll all the way down here and you find this file called workshop underscore co underscore decoration flag USA or any of this few basically you just click on the first one uh, this is your actually constructible object the thing that you will be able to put in in the workshop and then build it in your settlement not really gonna tell you describe everything here but just the things that you need to know so basically uh, as always zero zero so we stays on top um, get pay up one now workbench keyword it's uh, where you can find it it's gonna be in the decorations on the wall flags there's two sounds the pick up sound the put down sounds when you place them menu art object uh, this is nothing really don't touch it uh, created object is the thing that we're looking for this is where you need to find your flags and this is the flagpole we just click on it and it will be set uh, priority it's um, if it's the first thing in the list or the last one if it's zero it goes by alphabetical order if it's one is the most important and if it's a uh, hundred it's the least important thing required required items list uh, this is what you need to build the actual thing and recipes it's uh, a recipe so we can actually build it match conditions these are conditions like if you need for example if you are a member of the Minutemen, you will be able to build this. It's basically how the wall Minutemen flag works. So, okay. Uh, you can add a description. I'm going to just type this. And you click on OK. Uh, add. OK. Now you do the same thing with all of the previously mentioned items also don't forget to save it's going to be important because if you don't save it could crash in any moment Okay, now we got I forgot the zero zero. Anyways, you will find it in here. Uh when it has these stars, it means that it's modified. So we have four, which is this. And five, which is the last one. Okay, should be good. Should be good now. After we are done with this, it means that we made constructible objects, furniture, decoration, and it will be able to be constructed inside the workshop. You save several times and then you just click on leave and you install it like every single mod throughout the mod organizer vortex or whatever you're using i suppose i'll see you in the game good bye Hoy. so welcome back gentlemen now i'm showing you the results Um, here we loaded inside the game so let me show you 
what's going on. So let's choose a place where we can blend the flags and basically here uh, you press on V you go to decorations wall decorations and then flags now you scroll a bit um, we're close we're, there we go okay so here's the wall flag um, here's this one here's the waving one and here's the static one and then I'm gonna show you this one it's a fucking shit <clears throat> excuse my French so there's your wolf flag it's a texture it looks good it looks nice you can put it everywhere over here you can see the fabric so I think it's a success All right uh, there's the uh, flagpole one you see this is the back side a bit inverted you can actually play with it see if you can make it so it looks good and not inverted at all this is how it looks like and there's the waving one and the static one this is how they look like okay so the main problem that i was talking about in these waving flags without flag poles is this one you can set it actually everywhere i th you could you could you could well nice i think oh my whoa 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 see you can't actually blend them now if by any chance you can blend them you won't be able to remove them because they have no like model selection so basically you'll have to go to your common section and just type this disable so if you're trying to do those i'd recommend to be against unless you know how to work with 3d models and you actually can fix it in that case you can do it and you will have your waving flag without a flagpole and this one is nice too actually a great reminder to pay up your debts and also don't forget to tip the landlord <laughs> fuck anyways uh thank you guys for watching hopefully this has helped you on your flag making experience on your journey if you have any sort of questions feel free to ask i'll help as much as i can uh, and that's it i think so uh yeah good luck to everyone goodbye